Hey everyone, my name is Selva. I'm an architect. I usually use a design hand-drawing process to create my ideas and the initial visions so that I, that I can show to my clients, contractors and share with other design members. Okay, in this video I'm going to tell you how I usually sketch a elevation design when I'm presenting it to a client or showing to my the co-workers. So I'm just creating a page in the Morfolio of uh, 18 by 24 inches sizes. The scale I'm using is a half. You can use the any scale or size. If this sizes and the scale are very flexible in the Morfolio. Once you are done with this page, you can add the PDF or the image of your basic elevation that you have drawn in your software, any kind of software. Like I'm just importing a PDF that I exported from the Revit. I'm just going to select the image or the page that I want to insert or draw from it. Once you are done, you have an option to resize it and uh, crop the image. First, I'm cropping it so it could be adjustable to the size or the image that I want. Once it's done, you can rescale it. That thing is done. You can just hit the check. Now, I'm just going to turn off the shadow layer because I don't like it very much. Okay, so once it's done, now you can change the layers numbers as well like i'm just going to drop it down and add a layer top of it on that layer i'm just going to draw an option for this elevation i'm using a fine marker tool for this one i'm just sketching out the basic volumes and the doors windows that i need i'm going to design for this process Okay, once you are done with this, now I'm just going to use the selection tool, select this hole, create a copy of it. Now I'm going to resize it. Resize it into a small scale, like a small size. Once it's done, I'm just going to copy it overlay so it could show the process, like how you just made this elevation. Again, I'm going to select it and I'm going to paste it into another layer. Just select it and tap to the other layer, it will be paste to other layer. It is very easy and more for you to copy paste from one layer to another layer. Now I can just add some shadows to it and some color to this elevation. First I'm going to add the shadow so it give me an idea of the volume step and uh, give me a fine uh, line diagram for it. it creates some more you know uh, aesthetical drama to the drawing when you create the shadows i'm using the marker brush for this one marker brush is very artistic brush but you can use the, this roller brush as well if you want to but for me i usually use the marker brush to create these shadows once it's done i'm just going to use this ruler tool as well because with this tool i am able to create very straight and the very you know consistent shadows Once the shadows are done, I'm just repeating the same method, copy and paste to the layer. Once that's done, I'm just adding some color to this window by using the ruler brush. And I will add some other colors and materials to this whole elevation using the same technique of the ruler brush. It is very easy to My favorite tool in Morfolio app is the trace tool, the layer tool and the marker pen tool. This allows me to take my iPad with the site visits or I'm just visiting any site or location or everywhere. I can just open my drawings and put the marker on it and recheck the drawing on the sides as well. It's easy to, instead of carrying uh, lots of sheets and the paper and the prints of the drawing, you can use just this app, take it everywhere and just you know uh, redesign or recheck your ideas 
Now I'm just going to tell an other more folio grade tool which I use for adding the materials in my plants. And you can add it in the elevation as well, but for my plan, basically, I'm just creating this illustration. So it is very helpful to add the landscape material or the outdoor materials or, you know, the architecture interior flooring material. This tool is very helpful. To, once you are done, you can, I'm just going to create a new layer for this one. When you are that layer, I'm just going to make it at the bottom. Select the, it, so you're working on that layer and you're going to select this checkbox at the top bottom. When you are done, you can see the at the bottom you have the option. So I'm just selecting the lasso tool to create any kind of shape. You can use the rectangle, circle, elliptical. Once it's done, you, you can see in this checkbox, it allows you to add the material in it. So I'm using a landscape material because I want to create a brick pattern. It's a patio, outdoor patio. So it will be like a brick pattern in the brownish shade. I'm just going to scale it out. Okay, once it's done, so at the top, you, at the right side, you can see there's an option. So you can uh, change the color as well. So I'm just changing it color to a brownish shade. As it's a bit darker, so I'm just going to move it towards the lighter shade. Okay, yeah, this one I think is fine. Once it's done, just hit this green bucket and you are done with your materials. I'm just going to repeat the same pattern and fill out all these spaces by using this lasso tool and adding this material. Once done, I'm seeing creating the shadows for this plan and I'm going to add some trees in it uh, to make it a more lively look. I'm just using the stencils available in the portfolio to add the trees and creating the shadows in it. I would say for designer architects, uh, it's about continuous learning and to prove themselves. The design industry is continuously changing, so it's crucial to keep learning and improving your skills. Okay, so thank you so much for listening and watching this video. Take care, bye.